Okay. So, Oscar can't go yet because there are items that are need to be here for the train to go. Okay. Oh, he was programmed by Hans to make sure Anna got the old cylinder and all the other old toys, I'm betting. Okay. Maybe that changes the cutscene. Wait, what is my brain doing? Apparently falling asleep. So what all do we need to find? Uh... These shelves look as if they're made for valuable objects. Like a mammoth. Yeah, the music cylinders in this case, actually. See? Mm. Okay, cool. Let's see. Let's check out the last... That's our luggage. No point weighing myself down. Oh, there's cognac. Nice. There's cognac and our luggage. Birdie! Oscar got our luggage for us. Isn't that nice of him? Okay, so we put the things down, Oscar. So now there should be nothing stopping us, right? Right, Oscar? There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why you're still refusing to take this ticket. Everything is in order, and an engineer prides himself. On punctuality. Yes, Oscar, I remember. But what now? But what's up, Oscar? Why haven't you returned to your engine room? If I may be so bold as to express a personal opinion on this matter, Kate Walker? I'm all ears, Oscar. I fear we have omitted to wind up the locomotive springs. Is that all? Then let's do it for Christ's sake. I'm afraid I have no notion of how to implement this function, Kate Walker. It would seem that the makeshift completion of my production process is responsible for a lack of instruction on this matter. Okay, right. I'll see to that myself then. I mean... A wind-up train can't be that complicated. You, wait there. I won't be long. Thank you, Kate Walker. We have so many documents in this jacket. Like... Also, we had a mammoth toy and that giant ring thing in there with the Hans and Anna stuff. All in this jacket. That's pretty impressive. Which way do we want to go? Do we want to go this way? Let's go this way first. Yeah, there we go. We turn this wheel now. Crank the wheel, Kate! These are clockwork trains. Birdie, it's a clockwork train. I 
It just it's a clockwork train, birdie. It Yay. It's just so amazingly cool. It, oh god, who's calling us now? Wow. Kate's basically Kate, it's me again. Kate's wearing a wife beater, I just I realized. Yeah, yeah. Are you mad at me? She's pretty casual. I called Martin and Lorma. They told me you weren't expected to return this week. Oh, yeah. So when are you coming home? I don't know. There's nothing I can do about it. The situation is kind of tricky, you know. At the beginning of next week, I hope. Yeah, whenever. Dan, please. Just hang in there, okay? The stakes are higher than I thought. And you know how much I love this job. I suppose it's neither here nor anywhere to you that the Goldbergs are going to... It is. I mean, it isn't. I mean, Dan, this really isn't the moment. You know I'm thinking about you. I love you, sweetheart, and I'll give you a call when I have some news. Promise. I've got to go now. I've got kind of a, a train to catch. A train? Where are you off to now? This is crazy, Kate. To tell you the truth, I've no idea. Love you, honey. You know that. Kate! Aww. That poor guy's just like, what? Wait, what? Why are you getting on a train? Where are you going now? He's so confused. I feel very bad for him. It's like... <laughs> they, everybody thought it was just going to be a day trip down to Siberia. Then there's hidden airs and other crazy right, shit. Everything is in order then. The train is finally ready to leave. I am most terribly embarrassed. Such ignorance on my part is inadmissible. I hope you still have confidence in my abilities, Kate Walker. Please return to your seat and we can leave. Finally. Also, why would you make his feet out of wood when he's going to be operating... Near the well, I guess it's a clockwork engine. Ooh, look at it run! It's winding up! Yay! Pretty clockwork train to go! Robots know how beautiful this is. Now here's the real question. Is the train an automaton or is it a robot? Does the train have a soul? <laughs> Does the train have a soul? She fell asleep. And they're at another train station. Full of butterflies. And parrots. I'm confused. Oscar? At the halls of residence of Barockstadt University. And do we really have to stop here? The situation is incompatible with the pursuit of our journey. What are you waiting for then? Wind them up. Find a way. There must be some sort of train winding thing just laying around in this weirdo station. I have seen nothing that fits that description, Kate Walker. I guess we'd better find out then. I do not like this station. The atmospheric humidity is detrimental to my sophisticated wheel workings. I will wait for you inside the train. <sighs> Wimp. <laughs> Did she just call him a wimp? That's... Oscar, there's no way you could help me find a way to wind the train back up again? Rust awaits my every movement if I leave this train, Kate Walker. 
And what would you do with a rusty engine driver? Hmm. Not a lot, I suppose. Oscar, I think that Hans Vorlberg once stayed in this town after he left Valady Len. Maybe this wasn't a chance stopover after all. Nothing is left a chance in a railroad network. You agree with me then? We have no concrete proof to support your hypothesis. The train stopped because the clockwork mechanism is unwound. That is the only concrete evidence we have, Kate Walker. I was just hoping for a little imagination on your part, Oscar. No, Kate Walker. I am only an automaton, Kate Walker. That? No. Oscar, we have a serious problem. How can we carry on our journey if this train doesn't want to budge? What are our options? Every clock has its key, Kate Walker. Keep looking. Well, I hope you're right. I'm gonna go see what I can find. Huh. Every clock has a key, Verdi. Audience, I think Birdie's left us. But there's only one way to test. Oscar, see you later, alligator. In a while, Kate Walker. <laughs> In a while? Really? Aww. No, it's a little crocodile. No. This man's about to hang himself. Hello. You're on my train, I see. Yes, I've come from Valadie Land. It's been a long time since I've seen a train here. Students, did you bring students with you? No, I traveled alone. Well, almost alone. I remember around the start of fall, trains would bring kids from all around the world. Zoology and botany. This was a great university. And it isn't still great today, then? Uh, today? Uh. Have you been the station master of Barrochstadt for a long time? I've never had another job. Now, you tell me, are you in charge of this train? No, I mean, I'm not sure. So what's your thing here? You come here to do some bookworming over at the university? Well, sort of. I'm always looking for new information. Hmm. Well, you don't seem to know a lot. And about that train, it's gonna get in the way if you leave it there, that's for sure. In fact, I'm a lawyer and I'm conducting a pretty unusual investigation. Investigation? Uh, uh hey, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm just a station master. I, I don't know too much about anything. Well, you never know. Anybody could be significant in this case. Nobody actually tells me anything, so my hands are totally clean. I never implied they weren't. I feel like I've lost my way a little here. I could really do with your help. Hey, anything I can do, miss, you just let me know. The name Hans Varlberg doesn't mean anything to you by chance, does it? Oh, do you really think I'd remember one little name from the thousands that pass through this station? I'm sorry to junk up your station like this, but the spring mechanism on my train needs winding. Well, spring up a locomotive. Uh, there's a thing. Yeah, and an impractical thing, too. Now, I dreamed of taking the train, but now I'm over the hill. And someone has to take care of the birds, after all. All these birds in a station. 
It's amazing. This is no ordinary station, miss. Oh, no. These birds are part of the prestigious University of Baruchstadt Ornithological Collection. Over the years, this aviary has housed some of the most fantastic species from all over the world. Then I was not exactly your typical station master. So you're, so you also have some training as an ophthalmologist and stuff, okay? I can well believe you. And you know what's the hardest? The hardest thing is to keep interspecial harmony. And one day some explorer introduced a couple of cuckoos from the Amazon. Whoa. It wasn't a good idea? A nightmare. You know, cuckoos lay their eggs in the nests of other species, right? Now what's more, they also push the host's eggs out of the nest so that they receive all the mother's attention, right? A cursed cuckoos. Nightmare. I see what you mean. That's one tricky bird. And there was nothing you could do to stop it? The faculty declared the bird a protected species. If it wasn't for our mechanical eagle, we were sitting on a major ornithological catastrophe. You have an automaton here? A wonder of technology. It's an eagle that's mounted on wheels in the air. It passes through and swoops down to collect parasite eggs. But heck, dang eagle's been out of order for several years. Impossible to collect the eggs myself. Why not? I, uh, I can't climb up the gangway. I fell off it several months back, and I still have a pain in my spine. Not to mention the vertigo I've been getting. I only, only have to look up in the air. Whoa. You poor soul. That must be very hard. Worst thing is, cuckoo eggs piling up in the nest. Soon the rectors are gonna notice. There's trouble in store. I'm worried. Yep, worried. Huh. You okay. don't know where I might find equipment to wind up my train springs, do you? Well, not in this station, that's for sure. And I would know. You might want to try near the wall. So the Amazon. It's not the Amazon. But it passed like no. Amazon. I mean, I don't know actually. One or two days tops. You see, I've got to wind my train back up so that I can continue my journey. It's just uh, if you stay here too long, I might get in trouble. Train should stop and leave again. That's the rule. Besides, your machines disturb the birds. Maybe you could take me up to this wall? If there were two of us, we could find what I need to wind up my train even quicker. Uh, miss, forgive me, I gotta stick to the rules. You know, I have to man the station. I don't want to get the trouble with my superiors at the university. You understand? Okay, fair enough. I won't disturb you any longer, Mr. Station Master. Welcome to Baruchstadt, miss. Oh, please, my friends. My father's Mr. Station Master. You can call me Station. Birdie fell asleep. Okay, well, a birdie fell asleep on us. We should call it soon. Can't go that way. Okay. Also, really? Someone built a mechanic. Well, actually, it's Hans built a mechanical eagle. To scare the cuckoos. From the aimers on. <gasps> That's the ladder. How did he fall down this ladder? 
Come on. <laughs> we have to scare up birds now. Just okay. Mechanical wonders in the land of enchantment. They just get mean when they're grouped. Up. Okay, nice. So it's much quieter out here. Oh. It's Big hole. No wonder hands went to this freaking university. <laughs> Holy. These are... what the heck happened here? That thing looks like the winding machine I used in the Valadilen station. I've got to find a way of getting the train up here. Huh. send it here audience we'll see you all later next time once birdie's feeling more up to things and not being sleepy talk to you all later